Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> it's a tier 8 match on Siegfried Line Encounter. I'm on the assaulting team, and I'm driving the dreaded, the terrifying, the amazing E25 German tier 7 premium tank destroyer Let's with go. preferential matchmaking. So this little tank is probably one of the highest tier trolling tanks in the game for a couple different reasons. One, when this tank was first introduced, it did get preferential matchmaking, something that World of Tanks does not do anymore. So this tank, unlike, uh, it cannot see Tier 9s, which is good because the gun would be pretty much useless against most Tier 9s. The problem is that this gun is also capable of murdering any Tier 8s or 7s or 6s or even 5s that it sees in an incredible hurry, as uh, I will hopefully as we'll demonstrate here to you in this match. It also did not suffer the same nerf that a lot of other tank destroyers did when they were um, when they decided to take away their special tank destroyer bonus, where if you shot, you wouldn't disturb the bushes around you, and therefore you get to keep more of your camo rating. Well, most of the tank destroyers have had that taken away, but the older premium ones have not. The E25 is old enough that it still retains its camo bonus from concealment near it when it's firing through them. So I'm actually racing up here to try and support Red Wing, who has gone charging bravely in in his terrible Tier 7 premium tank, the Panther M10, which suffers from, has the exact same gun as this one, but is on a platform that's nowhere near speedy, nowhere near as stealthy, and just generally nowhere near as good as the 25. Unfortunately, he falls pretty early. Check out the rate of fire on this thing. I just abused that low. Big time hit points now that I'm trying to get shots in the version. Yeah, put a shot in there. Put a blind shot in. And I kind of want to shoot that low some more. He's a big, delicious target, but he's dropped on the side there. Oh, there's an E25 over there. Oh, he disappears, but he's still there. Okay. So, right in this little spot with this tree giving me some extra concealment, I can hide with impunity. And you can see my team is piling over, so I'm like, alright, we need a little cover issue with them. Then a more tor target pops up. It's my counterpart. And check this out. Just bang, bang, bang. When I track him there, I know I've got him. There's no way he's going to be able to get away before I kill him. Now he's starting to get, get away. That shot hurts me. Oh, no, 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 no. No escaping. No escaping. With him down, I come over here now and help kill this help uh, kill this Persian. I'm being spotted, but Red Wing's telling me to load. The other tank in the area is not looking at me, so I just continue pouring on the shells into this Persian. And 34-3 takes him out. Now the low has come back out, so we'll just go. And he's showing me a side to go right back to losing. Yeah. Just how is this fair? I'm just dismantling this tank. Big, big, that was a tier 8 heavy tank. That tank's a full tier higher than me. And I just ripped him apart with this gun without even using premium ammo. <laughs> now, unfortunately, the match is not going well. You can see the scores are a little lopsided right now. And it worries me a little to see that the only place where enemy tanks should be dying is the part of the battlefield that I am roaming around in. I mean, E25 is pretty awesome, but uh, it's... Well, its biggest problem is its ammunition. It doesn't have as much ammunition as you'd like, and it tends to shoot it all the way very, very quickly. So for the moment, I'm going to support this T-34-3. He's kind of surprised this KV-2 just fired and killed him. Uh, the other E-25. And he's totally got this guy, but I'm going to scavenge up a little damage, a little damage here. And he takes the kill shot. Awesome. This is a lot. They're still down by four tanks. A lot of tanks that need to die if we're going to get this. Oh, the jumbo gets away. Well, that's all right. Let's see. What needs fight next? Well, 2343 is going in, so I guess it's best for me to support him. Look at the map going. Hey, wait, wasn't there a CDC flanking this one? Oh, look, there's a CDC. This is just, it's just dumb. CDC. Hit him, set him on fire. He runs away. He's pretty much fire secure. Saves him for more damage. But it's like he it doesn't. Which way do I turn? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, oh god. Get it off! Get it off! Oh, I can't get it off! Squish. <laughs> uh, that was delicious. A thousand hit points worth of CDC. And I think all I suffered was a little tiny bit of ramming damage to get it. So now I can see that my IS-3 over here is in trouble, so we're going to go sprinting that way to try and help him and the Ike Panther too. 
Two is taken out, takes a little it looks like. IS-3 is in real trouble though, he gets another one. Now it's just this KV-85 and the IS-3, which is technically an unfair fight. Oh, IS-3 is in really low hit points. Well, I can change that in a hurry. Ah, I it. Alright, well. Hi, friend. Start using gels. Yes. Look at me, I need 25. Go ahead, shoot me. Better me than the IS-3. Ow. Alright, you're done. Suddenly it's, uh, looks like it's a... Uh, Three on two at the moment? Yeah, three on two. Actually, not too bad. Alright. So I'm gonna come up here. Unfortunately, the T Thor with three's gotten himself cornered in there. Looks like he's not gonna last much longer, so we gotta try and get some fire in while he's still distracting them. Not sure who to shoot here, but the new IS3 auto on the side is the more dangerous target, so I start pummeling him in the side of the target. Oh, look at that. One, two, three. That was like almost like. 400 damage in seconds before he realized, oh, I need to try and clear the line of fire. Alright, I kind of want to kill that KV-85. It's lower to the oh, geez, really? Ah! We need to untrack some of the smoke by the IS-3. Alright, put the loader back in so I can have my DPM back. Okay, cool. Looks like the IS-3 is about to engage, so I'm going to turn and continue trying to assist him. Oh, that's, um... I was looking that way, you gotta get a shot in, and that would be out of the vessel. So let's, let's just not charge that from the front, that's a bad idea. Okay, if I can't be useful here, then... I gotta help my ass through, buddy, another way. It looks like... Yeah, I'm gonna come this way, I'm gonna try and flank this way. Uh-oh, looks like the... Yeah, KB-85 took an opportunity to shot the IS-3 to try and get behind my IS-3. Can't permit that. Fortunately, he's a one-shot. Must get there, smoke him before he takes up the IS-3. Gotcha. All right, cool. And with this one tank left, E25 is like on, 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 on. Bink. Bink. Oh, good. IS3 got the shot. Whew. Let's take a look at the post-game stats of that one. So here's the post-game stats for that absolutely ridiculous match. Just watch. Much to my surprise, I got back. That was actually the first time I got a mastery badge in uh, my E25. And also, very nicely, got myself a high caliber. And what a high caliber it was. Take a look at the team screen, you'll see 4,346 damage with that little rapid fire pop gun. But even more surprisingly, 1,670 base experience. I'm not certain that's an all-time high for me, but it's if it isn't, it's a t it's a very close second. Um, you don't see matches that come up to 1670 base experience all that often. Um, very solid match. This IS-3 that did 1200. I'd be very pleased with a 1200 base experience uh, carry. Also, T343 also did a 1200 point uh, <laughs> team carry because mm, yeah, poor team, poor Red Wing. I'm gonna you know he's he's stuck in the Panther M10. I hate that machine. You know the the worst t premium tank in the game in my in my singular opinion, but you can see the rest of the team. A lot of them just sort of got eaten. Uh, I don't even I don't even know what happened to most of them. They, it looks like they got off one or two shots and then died. Now, admittedly, yeah. same thing happened to some of the members of the other team, but they have a lot more people with um, acceptable damage scores. Comet with two thousand, good job, sir. Twelve ton with fifteen hundred. Holy smokes, dude. Uh, under most other circumstances, that would probably win a win for you. Uh, T-85, 1,400. KV-85, 1,300. Bulldog, 1,200. So that's probably a little more than one. That's probably one clip's worth. Not great, but not bad either. Uh, IS, oh, and this E-25 with 1,000 damage. The IS-3 auto, how did he end up all the way down here with 1,000 damage? Don't know. Pershing with 1,200 damage. Just a lot of tanks get decent damage, but just were incapable of figuring out how to handle either, the, either uh, Foggle's armor or the E25's sheer blistering DPM or the T-34-3's uh, very unusual and distinctive pop and boom style of medium play. <laughs> Team. Uh, and then of course we have the uh, personal stats. 51 shots fired, 44 hits, which is a little on the low side for this gun, but under the circumstances where I was just snapping shot after shot after shot is, is not to be unheard of. 33 pens, also not unusual the guns got a little bit low penetration but managed to as you can see you can make it work 
by uh, either standing off at range and sniping at exposed opponents, or by getting very, very close and just making it so that they can't help but show you their weaker armor while you shoot them full of holes using your superior <laughs> maneuverability uh, and gun handling. Well, I hope you all enjoyed watching that match as much as I enjoyed playing it. Good game, and good night.